Okay, what's up PTM account? I have this video for you and I'm going to show you how to do what you want to learn how to do in iMovie. Alright, so first thing you asked was how to shorten a video to put it from 8 minutes to 3 minutes. Alright, so let's uh, go to file, we'll import a movie. Okay, I'm going to go to my movies, or videos really, and I'm going to select a movie here. Alright, let's take people walking. Alright, we're going to import the files. Alright. So now that we have our files in our events library, we can use this and start making a project. So what I'm going to do is start a new project by either going to File, New Project, or what I like to do is hit Command N. Brings up the same thing. New Project, I'm going to call it People Walking, Enter, or click Create. Alright, so now I have this big long clip that I want to cut down. Right now it's uh, it's 14 seconds. I want to cut it down into, let's say, 7 seconds. Alright, I want to cut it in half. Alright, so now I want to take out the parts that I don't want. If you want the entire thing, there's really no way to cut it down. So, you really, if you want to cut it down, what you're going to have to do is take out the parts you don't want. Alright, so uh, I don't like the beginning part. Right? I don't like these people, so I'm going to hold down my mouse button and drag my selection just like that and I'll hit delete and I don't know if over here on the bottom it says 10 s total that tells you how long your move video is. so I can brought it down to 10 seconds and I could do the same thing in the middle let's say uh, oh no there's something right here I don't like I don't know what it is but let's say I don't like it. I'll just do the same thing I'll select this one small part and it also tells me how much I'm selecting. There's 1.0 OS on the right side of the cursor. 1.1, 1.2, 1.3. I need to take out, I'll take out two seconds here. Alright, and now, what this is is a transition, but I'll get to that in a second. Now, it jumps like that. And you basically just you take out pieces just like that. Select, delete, select, delete, select, delete. All right. So now that we have our clip. It's very jumpy, as you can see. So you want to know how to go from one scene to another, right? Because you don't want these jumps. So bring your cursor over to the right side. We have five boxes right here. One is music or audio, one is pictures, text, we'll get to that in a second, and transitions. What this is, is backgrounds and placeholders, not a lot of important stuff there, basically because backgrounds come up when you put in a text anyways, so it's not really important that you understand this part, but we're going to go to transitions. Transitions is going from one scene to the next. My favorite transition, because it works with almost everything, is cross dissolve. Cross dissolve is just the picture dissolves exactly like it is in the in the title. It dissolves into the next one. So now what we have is it's still a bit rough but it's not as jumpy as before. Now, another thing you can do, just, just sometimes what I do to make the jump look like it's on purpose, is I'm gonna get rid of these by clicking them and hitting delete. I will actually flip the picture so it looks like I'm doing it on purpose. So I'm going to double click this picture this clip. I'm going to go down to audio, um, sorry, video effect, and I'm going to hit flipped. 
and then done. Now it's flipped. And then for this one, I'm going to actually crop it. How do I crop it? I bring my cursor right down here. There's a, a microphone, a crop box, and an information box. I'm going to hit crop, and I'm going to take this little green box, and I'm just going to bring it in so it's nice up close there. Hit done. Now, it kind of looks like it's on purpose. There's different ways to work around that. But here are all your transitions. You've got cross blur. And if you hold your mouse on each one, it shows you what each one does. Cross dissolve really is my favorite one. You have a page curl, a circle close. And if you're doing something corporate, if you're doing something uh, company like and you want it formal, cross dissolve is the way to go. Unless, of course, you want the jump. Sometimes the jump is actually good, depending on what you're doing. Okay, moving along. Create starting and editing titles. Ooh, okay, very simple. Remember we said this text bar right next to the transitions? Go ahead and click that. Usually what you want is centered. I am not a big fan of the fancy stuff unless it's called for. So usually I'll go with centered or zoom because the thing actually moves or lower third. Those are my three favorites. Uh, so right now let's go with a centered. And all you gotta do is click and drag. Most of iMovie is all click and drag. And over here you can choose your background. Again, I like simple. I will I uh, will stick with black. If your video calls for it, you can change the color. Paper, it's all up to what the video is. And let's type, people walking, pretty awesome. And then up here, top left, we can change our fonts. Some of the, of the types of text, you cannot change fonts. I do not know why. Must be a glitch in the system. So... If you can't, there's just nothing you can really do about that. So I'm going to change this font. Um, I think typewriter is pretty good. You can change the size, change the color, and then you're done. So now what we have is a title, an opening title, our actual clip, and we can have credits at the end, or we can just have another title go for lower third and we'll do a white this time we'll do uh, hello this is the end Get done okay now company logo have appear a small graphic such as company logo overlay on the video so it stays on the screen for length of the video for example three minutes okay for this, requires pictures. Um, I don't use my iPhoto library, that's what this is, iPhoto library. So I'm going to have to go <coughs> to my regular pictures folder. Alright, so I'm going to go to my finder, and I'm going to go to my pictures, move it on top of the video. If you wanted to overlay the video, then you would put it on top of the video. Now you have a bunch of options. Okay, your options are picture in a picture, side by side, or cutaway. Cutaway is where the picture is full and in the background. I'll show you what each one looks like. Um, a cutaway is right on top. When I click the actual thing, I'll double click it, and over here by opacity, I can bring it down and then you would actually see the people walking a little bit. Okay, that would be a cutaway. Then you can do a picture on a picture, which is it appears on top as a small picture. 
and we can move that around. Da 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 da. -da. We can make it bigger and smaller, and pretty much just like that. Okay, there's your picture in a picture. Last option is a <clears throat> side by side. Very simple. This would be cut in half, and your picture would appear right next to it. It's really up to you where to put your company logo. Uh, if it were me, I would put it before the picture and have it cross dissolve into the actual video. So it would go like this, it would be right there, and then I would have a cross dissolve right here, as well as right here, and then I would actually make the cross dissolve longer by double clicking that and where it says duration I'd put one second and then I would watch it play. If you notice this was moving you can very easily change to how much it moves, how big it gets, etc. by clicking it and again going to this crop button where it says Ken Burns you see the red says end and green says start. So if I start here and end there, you can just click a preview, which is right here, it says play, then that's what it will look like. If I start here and end the same place, then it won't be going as fast. Okay. Well, I noticed you didn't actually mention music, but I'll stick that in. If you want to put in music, there's two ways, either through your iTunes library, and then if you don't have in your iTunes library, you can go through your finder the same way I put in a photo, just drag and drop. So I am going to, let's say, just take a random, um, a random thing over here, and I'll just put it in, it'll automatically come to the bottom, and and move it around just like that. I will have to cut it because there's not enough space at the beginning, so go like this. Um, one thing about music and audio files in iMovie is that it will never be longer than the actual clip. So when I stuck it in here, it was actually right till there, and this was all the way out. The beginning was all the way out. Um, and then I cut this, and I moved the entire thing up, gave, giving me more room to extend the end till the actual ending. This little piece at the end, I don't know if you can see it, this little um, piece right here, I can move that. That determines my fading option, how much into the song it fades. And I want to fade right there, so that way... Ta-da! It just ends up just like that. So now we have our video, we have music, we have transitions, we have cuts, we have titles, we have music, we have logos, and now we're ready for export up here. Yes, share export using QuickTime. That's just, I, I like it better. Um, people walking, where do you want to send it to? Your settings are right here in options. Now H.264 is the best for YouTube. It's not the best quality, but it's the best quality for YouTube. It's very high, so let's not, don't get me wrong. Um, here's your dimensions. If you don't know about this stuff, don't mess with it because it's not going to be good. If you do know about this stuff, just hit your settings, what you want, and then you're good. So hit OK and hit Save. And then it'll take a couple min minutes for your project to export. Especially a three minute project shouldn't take more than, you know, five minutes, ten minutes tops. So I'm going to hit Cancel because I don't need this project. Hope this helped. Have fun making your movie. Thanks for watching.